so hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to install rice troid 10.2 for mi11x redmi k40 or the poco f3 so the prerequisites are you need to have an unlocked bootloader you need to have the twrp installed and you should stay on miui you have to remove your google accounts you have to remove your mi account and you have to remove your password and security once all of them are done you need to be having these three files in your internal storage which is the twrp image uh, the rise droid rom zip and the firmware part flash the firmware part only if you are in another rom so once you have all of them maybe you can reboot into the twrp by clicking on reboot and keep on pressing your power up button so once your twrp has booted head into wipe Advanced wipe, select your Dalvi card and cache and swipe to wipe. Then head into home, install, then search for your firmware part and flash this. Once your firmware has flashed properly, go back and head into install, click on your rice droid ROM zip and then swipe to confirm flash. Wait for your ROM to get flashed, it's gonna take some time. So once the installation is successful, check if there's any errors. The step 1 and step 2 has been flashed properly. So you can now go back, go to advanced, click on install recovery RAM disk and select your TWRP image and then swipe to install. So once your recovery has been flashed, so once your recovery has been flashed, go into reboot and click on recovery. So once your recovery has booted, Head into wipe format data, type in yes. So once your format data is successful, you can reboot into system. No was installed, it's an error, we can ignore it. So once your ROM is booted, we can click on get started and we can do the initial setup. So the ROM looks pretty pretty good. And I love the UI. So first things first, let's go to headings. And well, the animations are super good. And the settings also looks cool. Let's put the phone to 120 Hz. Oh, where is that? I guess it's in the QS panel. So let's change it to 120. Now this even more looks smooth. So let's head into the bot phone. It's Rice Droid 4.0, the latest version. And the Android version is 13. So let's head into the settings. Let's head into buttons. Power menu, we have these extra options for the restart, advanced restart. Advanced restart means we'll be having these extra stuff like reboot into recovery, bootload, or those stuff. So we have the end call, long press for torch, wake device, answer call, control playback. And in the lock screen, we have these much options available. And in the miscellaneous, we have the game space. So game space should work pretty good. Let me show that to you later in the video. And Google services, parallel space, you can, we can, we can create another user in this phone, which is a pretty good option. We can shut off the pixels to reduce the power consumption. It saves up your battery. And lock higher FPS in games, so it's gonna give you 90 FPS in PUBG and some games. Unlimited storage photos. And Netflix spoof. Spoof your devices as a different model for Netflix. I don't know what that option is. And swipe to screenshot. Oh, that doesn't work. 
What am I doing wrong? Well, it doesn't work. Weather settings, we have some settings like this. And let's go back to the navigation. We have the pixel animation for... Let's look at this now. As you can see, the animation looks pretty cool. And the animation is pretty cool, the way it comes and goes. Under notifications, we have noisy notifications. Toe stop icon, four stop buttons are general. Under quick settings, we can change the battery style. We can change the battery percentage, brightness slider, position, top or bottom. Oh, and we can, we can also remove the auto brightness icon, I guess. So yeah, it's removed. And under sound, we have adaptive playback. Let's turn it on. And vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting, vibrate on disconnect. These options are good. And under status bar, we can change the icons. We can disable which to be shown and which not to be shown. So for example, let me take the Wi-Fi symbol. So well, that's not shown. And now let me enable it, it's shown. This option is pretty good, you can just remove the unwanted. Digital or standard, this option is good. Dynamic system bars. It automatically updates the background of your status bar, which is nice. We get so many more customization options. And we do have the Dolby Atmos pre-installed, which is a pretty good thing. And let's go for the camera. You know, the camera isn't good in the cameras aren't good in the AOSP ROMs. I don't like it. So we can wait for a MIUI camera for this ROM, which will be available soon in the, the owner will develop a camera for this. So let's wait for that. Now let's check the Geekbench code of this device. So we have got a pretty less score, but that's fine. 700 isn't enough. That's probably because I've just installed the ROM and the kernel is going to take some time to adjust to the device, so... And the kernel is no kernel. Single code is 700 which is still good and multi code is fine. So let's go to the CPU throttling app and let's start the test. So the throttle test was pretty fine. As you can see, what the results are. So, if this video helped you on how to install Rice Droid 10.2, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.